seven down. Five more to go. That's the killer. Only two more left. I go. I said I'm free. Almost halfway. Just another three more. Just another one of them. And you do six, then you realise you're. I'm halfway. And then once you get first four done, then you realise there's only two left. And then you're practically there. Half part's already done. Last five minute done, yeah, 12 steps. Now I've just finished a nice three and a half miler. 30 minute little cool down. Glutes were on fire from the steps though. Done, 10 on my own. And then smashed out the last two of all the boys. So I worked doing it on your own. But we reached the numbers we wanted to reach. Done nice steady on my own now. And, um, off to get some breakfast, overnight oats. The reason why I'm doing more than the rest is because I'm closer to my fight date. So I thought I'd get to, this, to the steps half an hour early. Um, but by the time I managed to do the 10, they just arrived. So I've done 10 steps, all in under 49, 48 seconds. Yeah, and then the last two were 44 and 45. It's the championship rounds of always I'll give. Your best in the last two, 44 and 45 seconds uh, were the quickest times of the day. So it don't get easier as you go through the sessions, it gets harder. And my legs are shaking, do you know what I mean? So I'm, um, I'm tired. House music helps me get through it though. Shout out to DJ Austin for supplying the tunes on Centre Force. I'm going to be on them decks soon with him. Once my house is finished being built, I'm going to have a man cave with a set of decks in there. And, um, and spin that shit. Yo, Sandy people, listen, you lot have been asking about my nutrition. Um, I log everything in my nutrition, but I thoroughly enjoy um, dieting. I enjoy cooking my own food. I love cooking my own food, as a matter of fact. And, you know, I like following recipes. Obviously, I explore more when I'm out of camp. It's quite basic food, but you can still make basic food taste quite nice. I log everything, as you can see here. Free week out journal. Can't give him too much information. That's my three weeks out diary um, I'm making sure I'm taking my creatine my bare alanine my protein shakes um, we'll get on to that in a minute but yeah I thoroughly love um, my cooking and enjoy the diet so I don't really enjoy the diet but I enjoy the results because at the end of the day we don't eat for taste we eat for results so yeah I log everything from breakfast to lunch to dinner to snacks to my supplements that I take Let's start with multivitamin performance tabs. Um, I take one of them a day. Omega-3 fish oil tabs. I take my creatine, which is, I take, I lower the dose as I get closer to the fight day. Um, Val Nutrition. These ones say hold no water, but um, I believe creatine holds water in general, even if they say they hold no water, because that's what it, um, that's what it has to do. You hold water to, um, that's part of the job. And yeah, creatine. I take my vitamin D tablets. I know we are lacking in sun in the United Kingdom severely. And as you know, I am built for hot weather. I'm Caribbean. Um, I take my immunity tabs because when you're in training camp, you and you're having to cut calories down, you're having to train in tents, um, you being able to become run down uh, is quite, something that can happen quite quickly. So you need to just make sure you stay on top of that so your immunity is high. Um, you can obviously get that eating foods as well, such as oranges, um, some fruits got antioxidants in it. Um, so also again, comes back down to food. If you know what you're eating, um, it can also help. But I take these supplements just as an addition. Um, so these are my tablets, obviously. Vitamin D, six creatine tabs a day. 
uh, which is five grams of creatine. Normally I take six tablets. I've now cut down to two as I am two and a half weeks out. So that cuts down as I do want to drop some fluid, drop some water weight. Um, now the worst, but I, the worst feeling supplement I take, but I believe is the most beneficial is this right here. Better alanine. Now, me and better alanine have a love-hate relationship. The better alanine, I believe, helps me um, reduce fatigue. Also, being able to perform longer at higher levels. And it isn't pleasant. I take roughly three grams a day. Um, your body builds up a, a level within it. So, you, the tingling does stop. I'd say for the first four or five days, your tingles, just you've just got to ride it through. But it is horrible. It ain't pleasant. And once you get through that four or five day barrier, your body then starts to build up a tolerance to it. Um, and that's when you sort of know it has an effect. Um, listen, it all, it all comes down to every inch in this game. You need every inch you can get in this game. And that's so important uh, that, you know, you've got to leave no stone unturned because every 1% counts in this game. You know, say this is adding 1%, half a percent, half a percent. 1%, 1%, you know, you're, you're adding up 2 3% as, as you go on. Val Nutrition Protein. I feel like I really am trying to sell the product. I ain't trying to sell no product, by the way, people. Um, this is strawberries and white chocolate flavour. Naughty. Naughty. I have around three protein shakes a day. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, or I won't have one for breakfast, but then nine times out of ten, I feel like I need one after my session. Um, helps repair the muscle. Obviously, you need a hit of protein after um, your high-intensity training helps the muscles recover. Um, you don't want to put your muscle under so much stress and not have their healing properties for it. So I have, say, two of them a day. Uh, 30 gram serving, protein shake, 300 ml of water, um, tastes lovely. Um, and then again, if you want to jazz it up, you can put the strawberries in it, put some banana in it, um, put some 0% yogurt fat in there, uh, put some oats in there, honey, peanut bar, uh, whatever your calorie deficit is for the day, if you've got room to play around with it, by all means, be my guest. Um, this is what my nutrition consists of. Um, every single day for the past six, seven weeks. Um, obviously, I have different flavored protein shakes. I have banana, I have vanilla, I have chocolate, I have strawberry, but this uh, strawberry and white chocolate is probably up there with my favorite. But you've got to remember, you need every inch you can get in this game. You've got to leave no stone unturned, and you know, I enjoy doing my diet. Um, you know, I've worked with you know, one of the best nutritionists in the country, so he, he sort of taught me well. I'm pescatarian, so I only eat fish. I do miss meat dearly. I miss meat so much. I miss a nice good steak. I miss a nice lamb chop with some mint sauce and some gravy with some roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, some parsnip, some stuffing, and it goes on. But you've got to make sacrifices to get ahead. It's another sacrifice I've made. I've been pescatarian for two years now. Uh, it is hard, but I feel the benefits of being pescatarian. I won't jump in on no hype. I won't jump in on no uh, no hype or you know that hype train of being vegan and vegetarian and pescatarian. I just found it. Uh, I was able to eat a lot more, um, and I just changed up my diet a bit. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have sort of got my supplements um, and the way I do my food, the way I. I count my calories, the way I process my food and write it all down. Hey! You're smiling. Hey! Ooh! Are you talking to daddy? Mm -hmm. I'm not having my little baby. Well, obviously he won't, he'll still be my baby actually. I'm not having my child box. I mean, I know if he obviously chose to box, there's nothing I can do about it like Connor did, because Connor's parents tried to put him off, him off. But yeah i don't want him to i don't want him to, i cannot imagine like it's hard enough having con in the the ring let alone having your child boxing and in the ring i just can't even imagine it i don't know how connor's mum does it i really don't and i don't know how nigel's mum done it must just be like so hard can't imagine it look at him you don't want to get hit in the face do you 
No. So last camp, obviously I was pregnant. I, was about, I think I was about seven months pregnant. Um, do you know what I would say in this camp, obviously we've now got Eli, Eli is here. Um, I'd probably say this one's been easier because I think when you're pregnant, you've got so many kind of emotions going on that it's definitely harder to, and I think you're just so, obviously I'm tired now, but it's like a different kind of tired. Um, but I just think, in a sense, now he's here, it's just kind of settling into, you know, our routine and how it's gonna work. And um, yeah, I just think, I do think this one's better, but I kind of like, I've got, I've, I felt a bit guilty actually this camp because where I've been so consumed with the baby, normally like, I'm like, I am Connor's number one fan, so. And normally I'm like his biggest cheerleader, I'm cheering him on, like he'll come home, we'll talk about his sessions and stuff like that. But I think I've been so consumed with the baby that I probably haven't given him as much time as I normally would. Whereas I think, yeah, normally I'd give him so much more time and we'd just have so many more conversations about like his training and, you know, championing him on. But I think in a sense of, stress and um, pressure and things like that I think I don't know I just feel like this camp has just gone so well um, I just think being pregnant is just it's, it's hard going and do you know what on fight night as well I'm looking forward to fight night this time because doing fight night pregnant all you literally think about is don't go into labor don't go into labor don't go into labor I mean this one you know he's here so it's fine oh this <laughs> always happens so it's fine so i haven't got to worry about going into labor so i'm looking forward to to this to this fight yeah so today i mean you can do this workout at home and obviously you can make it as hard as you want to make it it's been a hard day for me, um, but then again, you make it as hard as you want to make it. You want to try and push yourself to the max, push yourself to the brink, because when you hit the brink, you know what you're made of. Uh, today, what well, today consisted of, it was 15 minute rounds. Normally they're three minute rounds, but we've done 15 min minutes under the pipes, which is shadow boxing, but working your head movements, slipping and rolling under in the pipes. And then we've done 15 minutes of the weighted vest, weights around your legs, weights in your hands. Um, we've got three different small dumbbells here, which I change every five minutes. I went five from really heavy to medium, and then you normally go down to the lesser one, but I went to back up to the heavy. Uh, and then we've done, I've done floor ladder uh, for 15 minutes, skip for 15 minutes, and then I finished off with my sit-ups. I've done 400 sit-ups um, just now. So, um, and I changed the movement. I, well, I, try, I tried to reach both knees, um, just up and down. Um, hands on hips and turn around uh, just to activate different parts of the, the core workout and that'll do me today um, so listen you make things as hard as you want to make it don't need a gym no problem I'm sure you can find something you can find bottles of water and shadow box with bottles of water in your hand it all just depends how much you want to train um, I guess you know you can um, always find ways to work uh, you can you can train with house equipment, such as bottles of water, packs of rice, um, whatever you've got indoors. There's always a way. Where there's a wall, there's a way. So get working now. <laughs> 